pipes, John here. I'm just going to show you this pumice stone rocket stove. It's made out of um, five parts pumice, one part cement. Just made with tin cans inside. There's two four inch tin cans joined together for the stack. A three inch tin for the inlet. There's the formwork, I've just cut it off. This is the top part. There's two buckets joined together. There's the bottom one. Just cut it off with a little angle grinder. See what's cut on the side. And the sides are going to finish off with this pumice stone stucco mix with a real fine mix of crushed up. And that's the top of the stove. On the top there got pumice stones to hold the pot. And when the tins rust out, you're left with the pumice. Here's one I've been practicing on. Here's the original, the stucco mix. This pumice stone is very light. bottom inlet I'm gonna put some more pumice stone around that later. This has been in the cast for two days. Just finishing off the um, inlet. Made a bit of a form work up. Here's our mixed pumice here. Some I've got to crush up with a lump hammer and a double layer of rag. Or if you haven't got any pumice, you can use perlite. Here's the mix here I've just mixed up. You're supposed to pre-dampen the pumice stone first after you've washed it. There's the mix. I'm just going to finish this up here, hopefully. Drop that down there, made it a bit of a Just tamp. Just tamp that down as you go. Make sure the form doesn't move. You can nail this together if you like. I'll just put some bricks here. Just taking her out the mould now and cut the sharp corners off of the little grinder. Looking pretty good. I'm going to finish this stucco mix on the outside. Then leave it for about a month before I fire her up. Nearly finished rendering this thing now. A fine stucco mix. Just a little bit at the back, I'm short of. Have to make a little bit more up. Probably leave it for about a month before I fire her up. And start off a slow heat and slowly work up. Just a bit at the back I've missed. This last coat's sieve through a fly screen. I think it's about two mil at the most. Mixed up at five to one. And just three tin cans inside. Three inch one there. Or just over three inch. And the stack is two dog food tins, four inch. Little pumice stones on top of the holder. This pumice stone should be really good at insulating the fire. Very light. This whole thing only weighs about 
five kilograms, that ten pound. Okay, thanks for watching.